Can I ask a question, officer? Yes. I am a full time stay at home dad, the main caregiver of our young children and homemaker of the household. Will this affect my application to become a US citizen? U.S. Citizenship Naturalization Interview with Applicant Aria, a mock interview based on actual experience. Once you meet the USCIS officer, he will ask you simple questions to start testing your understanding of the basic English language. These questions can include about the weather, traffic, or what you did before the day of your naturalization interview. Hello, I'm Mr. John Davis. Hello, officer. I'll be conducting your naturalization interview. Is everything fine with you today? I feel fine, sir. Thank you for asking. Are you well prepared for your interview? Yes, officer. Was coming here okay? Coming here was difficult, so much traffic. Follow me, please. Before we begin, I have to place you under oath. Remain standing and raise your right hand. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Please have a seat. Let's start with your eligibility, then information about you. Why did you apply for American citizenship? I believe in the U.S. form of government. Tell me how you received your USCIS green card. I received my USCIS green card through marriage. Please show me your green card, passports, and state-issued ID. My passport, USCIS, green card, and ID. Is it okay to ask questions before the USCIS officer will start the naturalization interview? Yes, it is acceptable to ask any questions before the USCIS officer starts your naturalization interview. It is even encouraged to clarify any doubts you may have about the interview process or the questions that might be asked so that you can feel more relaxed before the start of the interview and tests. Just remember to be respectful. Always address the USCIS officer politely and professionally when asking any questions. Can I ask a question, officer? Yes. I am a full-time stay-at-home dad, the main caregiver of our young children and homemaker of the household. Will this affect my application to become a U.S. citizen? There's nothing to worry about. You're doing a great job. Thank you. You are most welcome. Focus on important topics by asking questions related to the interview process, not personal inquiries about the immigration officer's opinions or experiences. Be always prepared. If possible, review your N-400 application in advance and identify some parts where you might need any clarification. Are you eligible to become a U.S. citizen? I have been a lawful permanent resident for about six years. How long did you have your green card? For about seven and a half years. Your full name, please. Aryan Vanma Aryan. 
your other names used since birth, like nicknames? No. Do you want to change your name? No, sir. What's your social security number? 8076842544. When is your birthday? March 20, 1996. During your naturalization interview, the USCIS officer will ask you questions about your application and background. It's important to remember the details that you placed on your N-400 application when you answer the questions since the immigration officer will also check if it matches your answers. What's your country of citizenship? India. Are you requesting for accommodations because of a disability? No, sir. What's your phone number in case we contact you? 631-124-8865 Let's go to biographic information. What's your race? Asian. How tall are you? 5 feet and 8 inch. Your eye color? Brown. What color is your hair? Black. Your weight? 180 pounds. During the American History and Government Test, also known as the Civics Test, do not be afraid if you forget an answer to one or two out of the ten civics questions being asked. You can still pass the Civics Test as long as you can answer six questions correctly out from the ten questions. Let's move on to the next section. Are you ready for the civics test? Yes, sir. We are going to start the civics test now. I'll ask you up to 10 questions and you need to answer six of them. Who makes federal laws? Congress. Who vetoes bills? The president. Who was president during World War I? Sorry, officer, I forget the answer. That's fine. Next question. Listen well. Who does a U.S. senator represent? All people of the state. In what month do we vote for president? November. We elect a president for how many years? Four. Who signs bills to become laws? The president. You answered six questions correctly. You passed the civics test. Thank you. If the USCIS officer talks fast or you cannot hear him clearly, ask to repeat what he says. You can also request the immigration officer to talk slowly. Officer, please talk slowly. It is important for you to say these things so that you can prepare for the questions asked from you during the interview and tests. Let's proceed to the reading and writing tests. Write this sentence on the digital tablet. Please say it again, officer. I'll say a sentence and write it down on the tablet. Independence Day is in July. Independence Day is in July. That's great. Read the sentence on the digital tablet.
When do we celebrate Independence Day? You passed the English reading and writing tests. We'll continue to your residence information. What's your current home address? 4246 Bayview Street, San Francisco, California, 57825. Are you still living at the same address? Yes. Let's talk about your parents. Is one of your parents a U.S. citizen? No, officer. Were they married before you turned 18 years old? Yes. Are you attending school? Yes, officer. What's the name of the school? Chicago Online University. When did you attend school? I enrolled last year. What program are you enrolled in? Because administration program. Look at the immigration officer when you answer the questions. Answer directly the questions being asked so that your naturalization interview will not take long. Avoid long answers that are no longer needed or necessary. Let's discuss your time outside the United States. How many times have you left the U.S. in the past five years? Two trips. What's the total days you've been outside the U.S. for the past five years? For about 65 days. When did you leave and return to the U.S. on your last trip? Left second week of May, returned last week of June. Tell me about your last trip. We attended the burial of my father. I am sorry to hear that. I hope you will find strength for what happened. Thank you. Let's continue about your marital history. What's your wife's name? Adira Arya. When and where did you get married? June 8, 2015 at Fairview, Swama Country, California. What's your spouse's occupation? She works as Information System Security Manager. Please show me your marriage certificate. Yes, officer. Did you bring your spouse's passport? Yes, sir. Let's proceed about the information of your children. Do you have any children? Yes, officer. Their names and date of birth. Alicia and Amira are twins, born on April 2, 2016. And Arnik also twins, born on May 2, 2018. May I see their original birth certificates? Yes, officer. I'm glad that you have these with you today. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No, sir. Have you ever registered to vote in any U.S. election? No, officer. Have you ever failed to file your taxes? No. Have you ever been a member of a terrorist organization, totalitarian, or a communist party? No, officer. A USCIS officer may ask applicants to define words from the N-400 application to test their understanding of English and to ensure they understand what they filled out on their N-400 application. However, the ability to understand English is not based on defining words or phrases from the form N-400, a USCIS officer is required to repeat and rephrase questions until the applicant understands them or make sure that the applicant understands the question in English. Tell me the meaning of this word. Probation. 
release of an offender under supervision. Have you ever committed a crime? No, never. Have you ever sold or provided any weapon to any person? No, sir. Tell me the meaning of this word. Smuggle. Moving of illegal goods out or into a country. Have you sold or smuggled narcotics or illegal drugs? No, officer. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any officer? No. Have you gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No, officer. Tell me the meaning of this word. Waiver. Voluntary surrender of a privilege or right. Have you ever given fraudulent information to any officer for immigration benefit? No, I have not. Do you support the constitution and form of government in the U.S.? Yes, officer. And are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the U.S.? Yes, I am. Are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the U.S.? Yes, sir. Are you willing to do work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, officer. Do you promise that everything you've said is true? Yes, sir. Please read this and make sure that all the information is correct. If everything is correct, please sign it. These are all correct, officer. Congratulations on passing all the tests. I'm recommending your application for approval. Thank you, officer. Welcome, everyone. Are you ready to join U.S. Citizenship Help Guides membership? This means you can support the channel's creator to make more content for people who want to become American citizens. By donating monthly, you'll get special perks like a badge and custom emojis to use when you comment on our videos. Plus, as a member, your comments will get priority replies. If you think membership sounds good, just click the join button below. Thank you so much. Do you know how long a U.S. citizenship interview usually lasts? U.S. citizenship interviews usually last between 15 up to 30 minutes. The length of the naturalization interview can vary depending on how long it takes to verify the information in your N-400 application and determine your English and civic skills.